the sky. I can see the whole of Funky Planet from up here. I wonder where Dippy and Clara are today. Ah, they're in Funky Town. It was seven o'clock in Funky Town. The birds were singing. The alarm clocks were ringing. And Doodle Doo was reading the breakfast news. A spokescow for the factory said they didn't know what the problem could be, but hoped production of grass pudding would resume soon. Today is world record day, and we've got lots of wild ideas coming in for winning the first prize. <laughs> Harry Hippo wants to set the record for the longest mud bath in funky history. He's been there for a month so far. The zebra family want to make an animal pyramid. And Buster is blowing up the biggest balloon ever. Oops! Oh dear. I need milk, said Chipolata urgently. Pints and pints. That's all the milk we've got, said Clara. Dippy needs it all for today's milk round. Number 24 would complain if there wasn't enough. But today's the day of my giant pancake world record attempt. I've got a hundred giant bags of flour, six thousand extra large eggs, but no milk. Emergency! The grass pudding factory is broken down! But, but, Calm but, down, Dippy. I can't get you any more milk without eating grass pudding. And I can't make the giant pancake without milk. There's only one thing to do, said Amadeus. Repair the factory. This multi-purpose factory repair kit will do the trick. I'll bring it with me. Off we go, said Dippy. It's very dark in here. No problem with this switch locator. I'll soon put the lights on. Can we see what's wrong with the factory? asked Chipolata. The grass is put into the big containers here and is mixed with water in this giant bowl with a huge wooden spoon before being sent through these pipes to be packaged for the supermarket. Mm, delicious! Can we see why the factory has stopped working? asked Chipolata. My automatic factory fault locator shows the problem is here. The water inlet pipe. Just as I thought. What? asked Dippy. Somebody forgot to turn on the tap. And so the three friends slowly turned on the giant tap and the factory came to life again. There we go. 4,000 packs of grass pudding on the way. I've got a hundred giant bags of flour, 6,000 extra large eggs, but still need 500 litres of milk. How long does it take to turn grass pudding into milk, Dippy? I've got to eat it first. How about Tuesday? But Tuesday is next week. I've got to make the giant pancake today. Don't worry. With this auto cow grass digestomatic, we can convert grass into milk in seconds. Sorry, Dippy. We'll never be able to bottle all this milk in time. Don't worry. Dippy, can you fetch the eggs and flour and we'll mix the pancake here? And soon, a hundred giant bags of flour, six thousand extra large eggs and five hundred litres of milk were mixed together. Here are the headlines. Production of grass pudding has resumed after earlier problems at the factory. And Chipolata has won the world record pancake competition. And so that was the day Chipolata made a giant pancake. And, of course, everyone helped her to eat it. I wonder where Dippy and Clara are now. Valley. It was coming to the end of another day in Funky Valley. And Porker was in the orchard looking for tasty apples. He wasn't having much luck, however, and it was getting late. But Porker wasn't the only one in the orchard that night. Look out, Porker. 
There's something behind you. A monster! Quick, Porker! Run! The next day, Porker told everyone what had happened. But what would you have done if the monster had caught you? asked Buster. I'd have stood up to him, said Porker. You stand up to a monster, said Daphne. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. And you know, Daphne never stopped laughing for the rest of that day. Just then, Hoot arrived. I know how you could stand up for yourself, Porker, said Hoot. How? said Porker. Carroty! Mm hmm? Carroty? Is that something that tastes like a carrot, said Dippy. Yes, said Hoot. Carroty is an ancient art of self-defence taught to me by an old Chinese owl called Wong Ki Wing. Watch! <laughs> also good for chopping carrots. <laughs> yes, yes, said Porker. Teach me karate. And that's exactly <laughs> what they did. The next day, Porker showed his friends his new skills. Finally, I will attempt to break all of these with a single carroty chop. Would you like me to clear all this mess for you? But just then, Porker realised he was very hungry. What he wanted more than anything was a big juicy apple. But he was afraid he might see the monster again. Hoot told Porker, You know the only monsters in the world are the ones in your mind. It was the monster! You don't scare me, Mr. Monster! Not now that I can do this! I say, said the monster. That's very good. Stop trying to trick me, monster. A monster, said the monster. I'm not a monster. I'm Benji the Badger. Nice to meet you. And so Benji the Badger told Porker how one night he stood on a barrel to try and reach some tasty apples and fell through the lid. He's been there ever since. Oh, how awful, said Porker. You must be starving. <laughs> yes, I am rather. Could you help me? Of course, said Porker. Thank you, Porker. Now, let's eat some apples, said Porker. Hooray! So that was the day that Porker lost his fear and found a friend. <laughs>